Hello, hello. Welcome back to another podcast. My name is Julia. I'm the owner of Handmade Jewels on Instagram and Facebook. And today is September the 16th, 2022. I'm here to show you some more fun things. So I have business things um, and a lot of personal projects that I've been working on. So um, it's really fun. I've been knitting lots and working lots and yeah, I'm getting married in three weeks tomorrow, which is like crazy. So um, I've had a lot of DIYs. I'm super crafty and I have a cricket, so I've been just making things like crazy and trying to organize all the little last minute details. So yeah, it's been good. It's great. Uh, I like to de-stress with the crochet knitting time, which is awesome, um, which means I have more things to show you guys. So it's really fun. I do enjoy it, <laughs> if you didn't know that already. So let's just jump right into it. I'll start with maybe my business stuff. So I've just been working through some custom orders. I'm taking a little break after I'm through this list, um, just because I'm gonna get married and go on my honeymoon and I'll be away for a while until I can get back to regular routine. Um, so yeah, I'm just working through a list still, um, haven't been making anything for shop, my shop or any shows, craft shows, so just strictly custom orders, but it's really fun. So I finished this, this is, um, a classic Winnie, so Winnie the Pooh, not the new Disney Winnie, this is like the classic with the, the red shirt, cute little guy, I think the color is absolutely perfect, and his eyebrows really make it. Yeah, he's super cute. So I typically make, for my animals, I, I use the uh, ten and a half millimeter safety eyes. And for this Winnie, I use 9 millimeter. Just because, um, yeah, it really makes him look like Winnie. Surprisingly, there is a difference. You think, oh, like, what's 1.5 millimeters going to do? It really looked, I didn't like it. So I had to change something about it. Um, yeah. And I think, I believe this is an 18 millimeter nose, um, just a bare nose. It's another safety nose. So the, both the eyes and the nose um, have a backing on them that when you push it on to into the fabric, um, it can't come back the other way. So it's basically supposed to be safe for babies and kids to play with um, so that it's not a choking hazard or anything. So I really love using those. Um, yeah, and I just embroidered the eyebrows on with just black embroidery floss. So really made it look super cute. Yeah, he's a super easy one. Um, so that's going away soon. I also made another letter pillow. So these are new um, to Handmade Jewels land. Um, I just started making these letter pillows. Yeah, they're, I bought this pattern from 3M Grace Designs on I, I believe she's on Ravelry but I think I bought them from her website uh, 3mgracedesigns.com um so this pattern you buy you can either buy the entire bundle of all the alphabet or you can buy individual patterns so she has the capital letters as well as the lowercase letters so I just buy the capital ones because I like them for names on beds and things like that um, and I added the bobbles. So this pattern was just um, regular single crochet the whole way. Um, but I I like the look of these little bobbles. I think it's really cute and add something, I don't know, just different. So yeah, haven't had anyone say that they didn't like the bobbles yet. So <laughs> I'm going to keep going <laughs> with it. Yeah, and I have only made them in uh, cream so far, but I am willing to expand my horizons and do them in different colors so that's fun um i am currently working on another part to that custom order with the winnie the pooh i'm making a custom dog so it's uh can you even tell you what kind of dog it is it's kind of looks like a rottweiler but it's not really cute dog don't know what the could be a lab a mix of a lab and a Rottweiler. I don't know. Short haired, black, brown, all kinds. So I'm I'm having a time making this dog. 
it's been hard. I should really add a picture of the dog that what it looks like in real life so that you know. Um, but there's so many different colors going on with this dog. So um, I started with the head. I like to do the hardest part first just to like say that I did it. And then the rest is just like smooth sailing from there. Um, yeah, so the ears, I don't know if, I don't know, yeah. I don't know if I should have done this black as well, but in the pictures, it looks like the ears are darker brown, not black black. So I really wanted to like make it as realistic as I possibly could. He has these cute little, she has these cute little eyebrow, light eyebrows, <laughs> which is adorable. So I love that feature. Um, yeah, and the back was really hard too. Like, it's just the variation of color in their fur um, can make it really hard for me to replicate in the crochet form because I don't have fur. It's just straight stitches. So I think it's turning out really well. It needs uh, legs, four legs, obviously. And the legs are just going to be solid brown color. So I think that will tie it all together nicely. Um, yeah, and once again, I used 18 millimeter. This is a dog safety nose. As you can see, it's a little bit different than the um, Winnie the Pooh. So this one's like solid. And this one actually looks like a dog nose. So that's the difference with those. 18 millimeter dog nose. And I used, I'm not solid safety eyes. So these eyes make them really realistic, almost scary realistic. <laughs> So these are um, brown 10 millimeter safety eyes. So I really think that makes it look even like more like the dog that it is in real life. I'm excited about that. Yeah, so he's almost done. Those will get sent off together along with a rhino. Um, yeah, so for all of my animals, I use mainly Nitpick Scotland. Um, it's a DK weight cotton yarn. It's a cotton linen blend. Um, I have some right here actually. So it's cotton, like cotton linen. Um, I'm obsessed with these. And the colors that Nitpix has for these are just, just like these are all Nitpix colors. I, I don't know. They're just neutral. They're not too like cheesy. I don't know what the word is. Like I don't know like this gray is just the most beautiful gray ever and these browns are just perfect so I really love the feel of this stuff as well um it's the more wear it gets the softer it gets that's the linen part of it um that always happens with linen so the more you use it the more it gets worn the softer it gets so that part is amazing um and then of course the cotton is amazing for just things that need to be washed and they're not scratchy, plant-based. You never know what kind of allergies kids have, you know? So it's a 70% cotton, 30% linen blend. And this is a DK weight yarn. And I use a 3.75, no, 3.25 millimeter hook. So I have my go-to hook is the Bee Queen, my Bee Queen hook that I've had for a while. Um, yeah, 3.25 millimeter, and it's an olive wood, but the queen, what do you call this? <laughs> the chess thing. Yeah, I love this hook. I love a metal hook. Um, it just slides so much nicer, and I feel like I can work faster with it. Um, but the metal hooks, when they're just, like, plain, I feel like it hurts my hand, so I love having this chunky handle to use. It's amazing. I love this hook so much. So it's an A plus for Bee Queen. Yeah. What else? Now I can show you. I am. So it's not really a business thing, but it's kind of a business thing. Um, my niece is turning two in, in October and I want to make her a dino. She is. She loves dinos and her favorite color is green. So... I asked my sister-in-law what what colors so she her sis, my sister-in-law kind of picked the colors but I also picked them online like she told me what she wanted and I was like okay cool so I'm gonna go so 
hopefully bought by these colors and hopefully they're nice. I buy all my yarn online, so it's very, very hit or miss. Um, if, it, if when I get it, it looks like the color that I want it to look like. <laughs> I feel like paintball, like lovecrafts.com is super risky um, for buying yarn and getting the color. Like the color that it shows is not necessarily the color that it's gonna look like when you get it. Nitpicks is better with that. I find that there, when, when you see the color online, it almost always looks like the color that it is when you get it. Like exactly the same. Um, whereas paint box is like, one time I bought this yellow and I, I was, I thought it was like a mustardy color and it was like, it was, it was the brightest yellow I've ever seen in my life. And yeah, couldn't do anything with it. And I bought so many of them. I'm like, well, this is great. Nice. Hopefully I'll use this up eventually. <laughs> ah, yeah. So I was crossing my fingers that it was going to be the right green because it had to be, it had to be perfect for my little niece. So I bought, like I said, from lovecrafts.com. That's where I get my paint box yarn. So if Kotlin, um, if Nitpicks doesn't have a specific shade that I want for the, like, in the DK way for my animals, then I will resort to buying from Love Crafts, buying their paint box cotton DK yarn, or hobby.com also has a DK cotton that I like. So I've found alternatives when, when COVID happened, um, production stopped for Kotlin, and like none of the colors were available for like six months. So it was, I had, I was forced to like find ways around it. So that's kind of how I expanded my yarn lines. So now I feel confident in buying from Lovecrafts and Hobby if I need to. So I did that in this case, they didn't have the right green or the right purple that I wanted on Nitpick. So I went to Lovecrafts and I got, I got this green that I'm very excited about. So this is the green I'm using for the main color of the dyno. I'm, use, I'm doing a stegosaurus, or so like the one with the spikes. Although, is that a... Yeah, I get them all mixed up sometimes. Um, so this will be the main color of the dyno. And the spike color is purple. So it's sort of like girly, but not like... It, it's girly enough to be Elsie's. But it's got her favorite green, and I'm very excited about this color combo. Guys, it's perfect. It's amazing. I'm so excited to do this. And I hope to have enough to do a second to sell. Um, yeah, if not, I'll just buy more. But this is going to be a great color combo that I use for a long time. So this is, this is like I said, the cot paint box yarn cotton DK and this is the color grass green grass green can't really see that but yeah and the purple is dusty lilac so the two of those together is just perfection I'm very excited so yeah uh, hopefully maybe I'll get to show you guys a picture someday of it <laughs> when I'm back yeah, so that's on the radar after I'm done these customs. Um, yeah, her birthday is the day before I get married. So I hope I get it done in time. It's going to be busy three weeks, I feel. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of people ask me what I stuff my animals with, which is very interesting. Um, it's just a polyfill stuffing. So the brand is actually polyfill. I get it from Michael's. You can get it at any Michael's store. I believe you can get it on Amazon. And I get the huge five pound box about this big. And it lasts me like a year. I've gone through a few of those boxes already. But yeah, it's just like a plain like polyester stuffing. So it's awesome. It's awesome stuff. And I have found, so I, I don't usually see the animals after I send them off. Um, and how they get worn, whatever else. Um, but my niece has a bunch of my animals and hers are just like, they're, they, their heads get bobbly and they're, 
it's so soft like oh they wear very nicely and yeah their heads get bobbly they're not gonna fall off because I've sewn around about 15 times um but it's really fun to just see how they wear and like know that they're decent quality good quality so yeah that's that all right now we can move on to my personal projects so i have a finished object this week guys i'm so excited so i finished my mount pleasant tea by megan no deck no, megan no decker also known as pip and pin on instagram so i'm i'm dying this is i'm absolutely obsessed with this so fun i wish i was wearing it actually but i'm not so this is the tea it's a knit top um drop shoulder the best thing ever does not look good with my shirt right now but oh it's just so good i should be wearing it i really should i'll show i'll post a picture um of me wearing it after this so you can see how good it looks on me yeah but the bottom the lace edge on the bottom just gets me yeah my fiance's dad was like that looks store-bought i was like yeah i know i'm so proud of it so it's really awesome yeah so i finished this last week i blocked it blocking it is my honestly my favorite part i don't know why it just feels so perfect after the drape is like amazing um yeah, so this was kind of a different construction. I've never done a bottom-up garment before. So basically, I knit the bottom first. So I did the lace edge, and then I worked up, 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 just knitting the round, stocking it um, until I had to split for the sleeves. So then I worked the front of the shirt up and then put these top, like, I put the top of each front and back on waist yarn just to be held and then it wanted me to so I did like neck shaping whatever shaping up to this the top shoulder and I did a what's it called oh my three needle bind off yeah yeah because I used three needles and it's really cool. Like, look how, um, it just looks very clean. A clean edge. So that's how I, it's basically like you're binding off and seaming together at the same time. And yeah, I really, I liked it. I was like, this, this is cool. And then I, once I was done that, then I wanted me to pick up. So I picked up just to the one by one ribbing for a little bit on both sleeves and then I picked up for the collar yeah so it was really fun I did enjoy it by the end I was like okay I'm done like even this little sleeve I was like I'm done I'm done with this I want to wear it and of course it's September now so I'm like probably gonna put it away for the winter and then bring it out again but yeah I'm very very happy with how it worked it it fits me perfectly um just slightly cropped I uh, just, I just love it so much. Yeah, so this yarn, I'll talk about the yarn for a minute here. Um, I have a lot left over actually. So I, this is long dog yarn. Let's see if I can find the label. I don't know if I have it anymore. Yes. So this is long dog yarn in the colorway rose gold. Um, so I bought two skeins of the rose gold. This is a bounce sock base. So it's a, what is it? 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. So I had 200 grams for this tea, which I knew was more than enough, but I couldn't just do it with one. Um, so I'll, I have a lot left over, which I don't know what I'll do with yet, but it's going in my little stash basket. So yeah. Um, I'm very happy to be done with that and have it ready to wear. I'll probably wear it to church on Sunday, so that's really exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good times. 
and I did use my pink Lucas so I have a um a full set of the blush Lucas that I got from my fiance's mom for Christmas last year and I'm obsessed with them they're beautiful yeah so I used these for um the bulk of the knitting um the cable the longest cable I think I used and when I when I did the three needle bind off and the I, I believe for the sleeves I did too I used um my DPNs so I have a full set of the knit picks DPNs and the bigger ones so these are 3.5 I just I'm not really that big 3.5 millimeter to 5.5 millimeter so this is a great set to have if you like to do your sleeves on DPNs for sweaters I love this I got this for my mom for Christmas so I'm all set in the needle department I love these um they're nice and long and yeah I yeah they were just they were perfect they're so smooth like oh I just love working with wooden needles that's I think that's the main thing for me like metal needles something about it just a feel they're a little too slippery but these are are like just slippery enough or it's like smooth sailing um yeah I love these so that was a super fun time and yeah now moving on to more projects so I'm I'm I had a wick that I've had for over a year um just sitting in a bag that I knew that I would work on eventually one day but it just didn't feel right to work on it in the winter in the summer so now that my summer top is done, I can move on and start finishing that now. So I think I've shown you this before, but I'm going to show you it again because I have made some progress on it because I've worked on it a little bit. I've got it in my fringe supply company bag, my cute little field bag. I love it so much. This is the first one I got. Um, it's the smallest size and I have two bigger ones with the handles, which are also amazing. This company closed um last year i believe which is incredibly sad because i love i love their work and their canvas bags and just pockets inside um so that was really sad for me when they had to say they were done but covid was not friendly to them so that was that sucked but anyways we're moving on um i am making this is the i'll show you the pattern this is the Bennett Sister Shawl by Lindsay Fowler, also known as Lark's Brunettes. So, um, what else do I want to say about this? I had, I had a specific yarn that I bought from Bethany at Woolberry Fiber Co. to make this because, so this is actually her in the front. This is Bethany with her shawl. So I think... Um, they did a collab on this, Lark's Burnets and Woolberry. Um, it wasn't a kit or anything, but she had been promoting it and saying, you know, like, my, this color would be perfect for a Bennett Sister Shawl. And I was like, what is the Bennett Sister Shawl? I want to know. Um, yeah, so basically it's a triangle shawl that is knit um, in garter stitch for, like, a little bit. And then it starts, I don't even I don't read ahead in my patterns. I really don't. I look at the picture and I say, that's cute. I want to make that. And then they just, one thing at a time. Yeah, so it's garter stitch on the outside. These, and then it, it forms like a diamond in just stockinette here. And half of the shawl is knit in just fingering weight. And the other half is knit with knit in fingering weight and surrey held together. So it's like a half fuzzy, half knot shawl. And that just was like, I need this. I need this in my life. So I bought the yarn from Woolberry Fiber Co. And I bought two skeins of fingering weight and one skein of Surrey, all in the same colorway. So it's going to be, the color is going to be exactly the same. Just one side is going to be fuzzy. And the other side is going to be plain. But I'm very excited about it. So that's the idea I had in my head of what, what I wanted. So that's what I went with. Um, so I have made a little bit of progress. 
it's bigger than it was the last time you saw it. It was a teeny tiny triangle the last time. Um, so it's getting bigger. As you can see, it's very drapey. Um, yeah, it's not, I'm, it's fingering weight. I'm using a four millimeter hook. So not as tight. Um, yeah, and I feel like with garter stitch for me, my gauge is loose, which I'm totally fine with. Obviously didn't swatch for this. I don't swatch for anything, but wasn't going to swatch for this. Um, but I do like the drape that I'm feeling so far. So that's a good sign. Yeah, it's coming along. So basically I'm just doing increases on one side and this side I'm just doing straight. Um, and I do that for a long time until it changes. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens from there. <laughs> so yeah, this, I'll talk about the yarn for a minute. It's beautiful, by the way. You can't really, ah. It's so nice. You can see there's a little bit of gold in there, but mainly this uh, pinkish burgundy color which is like so fall to me. Like it just screams fall, which I love so much. So the yarn I'm using is, this is, the colorway is Ode to Summer, which is perfect for this time of year, September. You're kissing summer goodbye. You're welcoming fall. Um, I just love it so much. So very simple, but it's got those like gold chunks in it which I really love um yeah so pretty so this is Wilbury Fiber Co in the um berry sock base so it's an 80% superwash and 20% nylon yeah so this is the fingering and then the surly guys the surly just gets me oh, yes so the second half will be these two held together Oh, I just love it. I'm obsessed. It's so fuzzy, you guys. So, yeah. So, the Berry Surrey base is... I never actually read this. is 74% Baby Surrey Alpaca and 26% Silk. It's so soft. I'm very excited to work with this. I have not worked with Surrey before, ever. Um... I have worked with mohair and I am obsessed with mohair. So I feel like it's basically the same. But this is a little bit softer. So that's going to be really fun to um, do the second half of this. I'm, um, that's kind of what's getting me through this project is just knowing that you're going to have... Looking ahead and being excited about what's going to happen in the rest of it. So that's great. So this is it all... Um, still in its hank and I have one of them already caked because I'm working on it right now so just beautiful golden pink so nice I love it so much so that's my current um so, big whip. now I'm gonna show a current whip I have two whips I think yes two other whips that I want to show. So this, um, the socks have been just, these socks have been around for, well, you're probably tired of seeing them, but I'm the slowest knitter ever. And I only really work on these at work on evenings and when it's slow. So that's why they don't get done. Cause I just neglect them. Yeah. Um, but these are the summer camp socks by Jill Zielinski, AKA what's her name? What's her name? Nidorella? Yes. Okay, so yeah, it's basically like a, it's nothing really special. It's a one by one rib cuff, a three by one rib all the way down the foot. Um, you got your regular heel flap and gusset. And I just do my regular toe decreases like normal. I don't know how to explain this with a kitchener stitch. So kind of plain, but not really. This one is done. I feel like I've showed this already. Um, yeah, these are not for me. These are for a gift for someone. So they're a little bit bigger. It took me a lot longer. I'm like, wow, this, my feet are small compared to other normal adults in the world. So I was shocked by how much longer it took me just to do the foot part. Um, but yeah, I love this colorway. This is also a long dog yarn in the colorway Frosted Window Pane. 
And this is just her bounce sock. 25, 25 fingering weight yarn. Yeah, so these are for a Christmas gift. I love this color. The speckles are amazing. Um, so I'm pushing through the second sock. It's been a struggle and a half. But I finally am on to the heel now. The heel flap. So it's going well. It's just um, you know, forcing myself to do it. I'm gonna have all these other exciting projects to do that I want to work on. So I'm getting through it. It'll be great when they're done. I'm very excited to block them, give them away. It'll be awesome. So yeah, I'm getting there. I use my two um, circular needles. These are tiny, tiny, tiny. They're two point something. Two point two fives, maybe. So I just have two. I knit in the round this way um, instead of using DPNs now because I feel like if these it's it's way more secure in the bag and you have less chance of your stitches coming off the needles. I really enjoy knitting in the round with two with two like this now. Super fun. If you don't know what I'm, how to do this or what I'm talking about, Nitty Natty um, on YouTube, she has a good tutorial on how to do it. And yeah, if you want to learn how to do it this way, that's who I would go to. Because that's how I, she was the one that showed me how to do this. So yeah, she's awesome. Anyways, that's my little Nitty Natty plug. Um, here's the yarn again. I'm just obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. The pink speckles. Oh. So that's been really fun. Yeah, working with variegated yarn is always fun. And that way, because you, yeah, never know what it's going to look like. Okay, moving on. Yeah, so actually, my motivation to finish those socks um, is that I need the needles to cast on another pair of socks soon that I want to work on. So that's a good motivation to finish something if you only have one or two sets of needles. So I, it's almost October and everyone is talking about Halloween knits and Halloween socks and fall things. And I ordered some yarn from Nomadic Yarns. So she is a self-striping yarn dyer um, in the States. I have one of her, I have a Christmas one. Yeah, I have, I don't know what it's called right now. It's March Family Christ March Family Christmas, the colorway, which I'm waiting for Christmas time to cast that on. Obviously, I'm not going to do that in the middle of summer. I mean, I could, but I didn't. Um, anyways, I was on her website and I, ha I have a uh, new obsession with Hocus Pocus the movie. So I had watched it for the first time last year, which is crazy to me because it's a very well-known movie that's been out forever and it's very popular and yeah I just never knew like what all the hype was about it it's like this is just another Halloween movie that I don't need to bother watching and then I watched it and I was like this is I love this I don't know it's so good um yeah it's just a, a funny old movie that I gravitated towards so anyways I really loved it and I heard that Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out at the end of September and I'm just very excited. I just, like I said, it's a new obsession with this movie and Nomadic Yarns has a Hocus Pocus yarn, Halloween yarn and I was like, I need this. I need this in my life. So I bought it and here it is. I'm so excited. Self-striping yarn. It's so Halloween-y. It's not even funny. It's so Halloween-y. So it's got orange and purple, two shades of green. I think that's it. Yeah. So this is the colorway Winifred Sanderson. So this is one of the Sanderson sisters from the movie. I'm just so excited about it. Yeah. Anyways. So it's, yeah, in the, in the twisty sock base. She has a bunch of different bases. She has like a sparkly one and some other ones. But I always get the twisty sock. I don't know why. I like it. And it's 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. So 
Oh, it says hand wash and cool water. I wonder if these colors bleed. Is that why she had to say that? I don't know, but it's so, that purple is so vibrant. Like you can't, you can't really see it on camera, but it is bright. I'm so excited. Um, so I've never worked with, never actually knit a pair of socks in self-striping yarn. So this will be the first time that I do that. I'm excited to see how it goes. Yeah, I think I'm going to try a new heel method um, for these just because the fl heel flap and gusset will not look good with this. It'll mess everything up and then you'll have a big clump of, yeah, I just don't think it'll work. So I'm going to try the afterthought heel for the first time. So that's really exciting. I've been watching some uh, YouTube videos on how to do it and it actually looks not too hard. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how it goes and if it feels good on my foot after. Like I love the heel flap and gusset because it just fits my foot nice and super easy. Um, but I'm ready to learn something new. So that will be fun to try. So I'm gonna do that with this yarn. Yay. So that's all I have to say for this. Yay Halloween. <laughs> Yay Hocus Pocus. All my Hocus Pocus fans out there. You can rep be excited with me for the new movie because it's gonna be good. Um, one last thing to show you. My temperature blanket progress. So I have just recently finished June, the whole month of June. So I am two and a half months behind on this blanket. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's actually not bad. I feel pretty good about it. So yeah, I'm trying to just do one stripe at a time, one day at a time. Whenever I can, I'm just like, okay, time to work on my blanket. I'm part of a sip and sit group and they are very good motivators. So that's been fun. Anyways, so here's the cold part. Like I said, you know that part. And there's my updated progress. So um, the white, the cream stripes that you see, I say this every time, are my month separators. So that is not actually a color of the month. Um, someone said, oh my goodness, that, that one day was really cold in summer. I said, no, it wasn't. It was just my month separator. Anyway, so yeah, this is, I can't hold this up. This is June. So as you can see, it's getting really red. That koi, that color is koi. Um, and that is my 20 to 24 degrees Celsius color. So in July and August, it is a fairly big chunk of just koi, which I'm excited for because it's still gonna change. Um, it's still gonna keep getting hotter. So this isn't even like, this isn't even it. I'm so excited to see how it goes. That's the best part about this project is like, you never know how it's gonna look until, until you crochet it up. So that's my progress on that. And I am super excited to just keep going with that. And yeah, super fun. Hopefully I can keep my motivation up and finish it. Yeah, so it's good. All right, guys, I think that's it. I don't have anything else. I don't think so. So I'm gonna keep knitting and I'll be back someday. Um, thanks so much for watching and happy knitting. Have a great week.